So one thing I, I typically see uh, with a lot of students uh, when they're starting to learn about methods is they want to have the same return type as their parameters. And it's actually the exact opposite. I don't have to have the same return type as my parameters. So here are some examples of that. I wanted to design out a method. All it does is say whether or not my parameter one, my my param one is greater than my param two. That's all. I don't. I don't care. I don't care about you know which one is or which one's the better one. I just want to see if parameter one is greater than parameter two. If i one is greater than i two. Well, these are integers. Integers. Notice what I'm returning. Again, because all I want to do is see if i one is greater than I do. I'm returning a Boolean statement. So if I invoked greater, uh, for example, I could do greater uh, 10 comma 5. What I'm going to get is I1 is going to be 10. I2 is going to be 5. I10 greater than 5. Well, this gets evaluated as true. So what has happened? What happens? This returns true. Now I probably need to be storing this in some way. So in our case, you know, I'd make a boolean b and store it. Now boolean b, I, since I've already kind of got that on there, let's at least think about this in another aspect. You see I have two methods here. I can actually do what's known as chaining thanks to PEMDAS, thanks to please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, I'm able to do something like this. Five if true greater ten five. So what happens here? Again, PEMDAS, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, means that I'm gonna start with my parentheses. I'm gonna always look for my parentheses. So guess what gets evaluated first? This guy right here. Well, that means that this becomes 10, this becomes 5, this gets evaluated out as true, again, because it's returning something. This only exists for this short moment in time. So what's it doing? Well, in this case, this gets evaluated out returning true, and I'm going to actually change colors here for a second. So let me get rid of that. Change it to maybe a dark green. Yeah. So that became true. And then I still have to evaluate five if true. Well, guess what? This B over here that got passed as a true, and you can see what I'm doing here is I'm going to return an integer. Even though I'm passing it a boolean, I'm returning an integer. And I do my comparison. If true, guess what? This is true. Return 5. So the full sentence, the full sentence if I wanted to actually use this inside of my code, would be int num equals five if true greater ten five. Again, this gets evaluated first, this then gets evaluated. And then that is going to give me back 5, which I need to store in an integer because, again, that is my return type.